My name's Kathy, and I'm here at the Saskatoon Public Library, and I'm going to share an activity with you about how to make a sound amplifier. Now, I get to do that, like I said, here in the Saskatoon Public Library, and we're on Treaty 6 land and the traditional homeland of the Métis. So it's a great space to share ideas and tell stories that have, just like it's been done for thousands of years. Now, because I'm alone in this story room, I'm gonna take my mask off, and hopefully that'll make it a little easier for us to talk and look at how we make the activity. So as I said, it's a sound amplifier and it's really easy. It's actually made with three things and you only need a couple of things to help prepare them. It's made with paper towel roll and some kind of plastic cup, a solo cup that you can actually cut without it breaking. Now I've tried some different things. I tried um, a paper towel roll and I got a little bit heavier towel roll or wrapping paper roll and it worked the best to give support to hold the device. Now I already made a couple of them uh, just so that I could test them out and make sure that it really worked because I was a little bit of a doubtful that it would actually amplify the sound and it really did. So I made one that had a little bit smaller slot and I made it for my phone. Um, my phone's recording this presentation right now and I made one that was for a little bit bigger slot for a tablet and so the tablet slides in there now what you have to do is you're going to have to look at your device and decide how you're going to measure it I'm going to show you how to make it and then I'm going to show you how it works so you start by taking your roll and what you have to do is measure now this roll that I had left that was the sturdier roll it's not quite wide enough to show you what I would do with an iPad it would have been big enough if I had my phone or a tablet depending what device you have at home so you measure the width of your tablet okay and then you know your tablet's not very wide so you're just going to take the marker and it doesn't have to be exact you're just going to draw a line on either side of the tablet that's going to end up making a little bit of a slot okay so i'm not sure how clearly you can see it but i drew a slot going down there and then you're going to take your exacto knife or your scissors, depending what you have, but I found for this part, the exact one I've worked a little better. And I could cut straight down to create the slot, okay? Okay, so you get the idea. You cut the slot out at both ends, and then you pop it out, and you end up with a slot in it that looks like that. And then you can test and make sure that your device, whatever device you're using, whatever phone or tablet, fits in. So I tested my phone and it fit into this one, or I tested the tablet and it fit into this one. And so when I knew they were a good fit, I was happy and I moved on to the next part. Now what I will tell you is don't be surprised when until you have the cups on the end, this will just fall over. So when you test it out, you have to hang on to it or it'll just plop right over. The next part is to get these holes in the cup. So for the very first cup, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to measure so it matches the hole of your tube, whatever size your tube is. So you're going to take your marker again and you're going to trace the right size of hole to cut out for the cups to fit on the tube. So on the first one, I just drew around like that. And then whatever you find easier. But once I had it cut out, I kind of found it easier to take the circle that I had cut out and lay it down on the other cup so that they matched. And then I traced the circle that I had cut out. So then I had matching circles on each cup. So you're gonna want one hole 
in each of the two cups you have. And then again, you can do it however you're comfortable with. I actually started my hole, I poked a little hole in with my X-Acto knife because it was so sharp. And then I took my scissors and I was able to get my scissor in and I cut around the outside of the circle. So again, you end up with your cups with two holes. Now those are gonna be the ends that you fit into, and you want it to be a pretty secure fit. This cut hole actually got a little bit big, so I'm gonna use the one I had cut before. Because you want it to be pretty snug so that it captures the sound inside and amplifies it out or makes it louder. Okay, you just kinda of gotta wiggle and jiggle it until it gets inside. And then you turn it so that it holds up here. Let me move this out of your way so you can see. You turn it so that it's holding up the part, the device stand. Now, what's good is the tablet or the device, the bottom of it is where the speaker is. So then the speaker's sound travels through the tube and out to the solo cups where it gets louder, it gets amplified by the cups spreading it out. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna turn on the device, I'm gonna play some music, and I'm gonna let you see the difference in the sound. I'm not 100% sure that you can hear the difference in the sound right away. Can you hear that music? Okay, I'm going to slide it in. And it gets louder. And what a friend of mine and I noticed, I'm going to turn the music down, hang on. There, I turned the music right down. What a friend of mine and I noticed is that even though the sound may not be a lot louder right up close, because we downloaded, you can get a free app with a decibel reader. And so we checked the difference on the decibel reader and the decibel reader said it got louder. Not a lot louder, but maybe 10 to 20 decibels louder. So that's significant. But what we really noticed is that when it went through the cups as the speakers, it spread the sound a lot broader into the room, which you might find too. And if you want, you can ask your parents if you can download a free decibel app. Decibels measure the amount of sound that we're hearing. And you can actually run a test to see if your sound amplifier actually makes the sound amplify. But you do need a second device to be able to do that. So. That is how you make a sound amplifier out of a paper roll and two plastic cups. It's amazing and it works and you can have great music spreading through your whole room without spending a lot of money on a big speaker. I hope you have a really good day. I hope you get a chance to try making your amplifier. Enjoy.